the Pod Breed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Pod Breed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. There are over 2 million podcasts, but how many of those can massage the mind, elevate the senses, take you to another plateau? Allow me to introduce you to Drea's Point of View, the 10 minute or less podcast that brings you observations and experiences from her perspective. Be it white, pink, brown or gray. There is noise that can help you get to sleep. According to WebMD.com, there are many different types of noises besides white. So I thought I'd break them down for you, especially since so many people have trouble sleeping. Welcome to Drea's Point of View. I am Drea, your hostess, and I would love for you to follow the show on Twitter at Drea Point and at Drea's Point of View on Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse, and Pinterest. White noise is the most popular noise that is called broadband noise. It can be static or sound like a fan or vacuum. This type of noise can reduce crying in babies and lower ADHD symptoms. It can also improve sleep. Some people find that it has a positive effect on them. Pink noise is known as ambient noise. It filters out distractions like cars so you can sleep. It uses lower sound waves and may be more soothing than white noise like steady rain or waves on a beach. Pink noise may also boost your memory. Brown noise, also called red noise, has a rumbling sound. It sounds like thunder. It helps lower symptoms if you have ringing... It helps lower symptoms if you have ringing in your ears. Some sleep apps use this sound. 38% of people fall asleep to white noise. With pink noise, you may feel more rested when you wake up. There is black noise that refers to complete silence or random noises. I know that's the only way some people can sleep. Green noise is ideal for a meditative environment. Blue and violet noise is used to treat tinnitus, or tinnitus. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. That's when you can hear a sound when no external sound is present. There are noise apps you can get on YouTube or your phone like Noise Z that you can play to go to sleep at night. You can also get a sound machine that gives you a choice of the type of noises you can choose from. To better your sleep habits, Work out during the day so you'll fall asleep quicker. Make sure your room is completely dark. Limit alcohol and eating big meals before you sleep. I know alcohol works for me every time. And you can also turn off bright lights. Which sound color helps you sleep the best? Let me know. I'd love to hear. Make sure you subscribe to this show as well so that you don't miss any of the episodes that I have for you each week. I don't want to change your point of view, but only get you to hear things from Drea's point of view. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for listening to Drea's point of view. Remember to subscribe to this female hosted podcast. Drea's point of view is now available on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays.